Hello guys and welcome for another video with Ben. Today I'm gonna do a, a complete guide for beginners but also for like regular players. So let's say you finished, uh, you just finished a tutorial and you don't know what to do. So I've got a few steps for you to determine what you need to do to progress faster in the game. And the first one I have for you is to enter in a, one of the top alliance and then make sure that alliance capture the most villages and cities as possible because each village and cities have rewards for the first capture the more first capture you get the more rewards you get especially like gems it's really good rewards so you absolutely need to go for this one a good alliance as you can see if you go in the alliance tab and then territory then you can see in settlement for your region the the more cities that you have and uh, just village and uh, town that you have the more you know buff uh, you can get like training speed building upgrade speed research speed squad attack uh, healing speed and all of these so you need to make sure that your alliance got all the different type of uh, town and villages to get all the different bonuses if your alliance don't do that then it's not a good alliance so make sure you get all of these to make sure you progress as fast as possible the second step you need to do is to grab everything that is free in the game so every day you got on the vip some free stuff you got free stuff on the mall you got uh, airdrop supplies here for free same the search you've got uh, depending on your police station i've got free search here the next step you need to do is make sure you follow always the main mission the main mission is actually pretty good to uh, progress like it gives you a really good guide to follow and progress faster in the game and same thing always do your daily tasks so the main mission is here and then if you go on this tab you've got daily task always accomplish all the daily tasks and get all the rewards here on the, the chest on the top also make sure you do all the events like if you go on this tab there's uh, the event tab event calendar and you've got um, like for example for me I've got by Alice doctor that I finished uh, great rebates that are actually finished too, militant that are finished too, and all these events give you rewards that you can take. So take most of it. Uh, I still have this one that I need to accomplish for today. But if you start a new region, there are also a regional uh, tab you can uh, find here with extra mission for the alliance and personal missions. Do these missions too because they give you rewards as well. There's also, as you can see here, I've got a few tab like. Uh, Mainly he's uh, Island Red. Island Red gives also like heaps of rewards as well. Try to get all of these rewards on all these events above here. Next step is to make sure you progress in all the campaign. So campaign, you've got Z-Virus Adventure, Memory Trip and Arena of Doom. Z-Virus Adventure gives you extra boost for leveling up your heroes. It gives you a experience book, but it also gives Liam's fragment and experience book for Liam and all the rewards here as well um, memory trip gives mainly resources and crystals and with the crystals you can buy uh, heaps of different things including legendary hero budge s you can buy elite fragment and jaden's fragment it gives also jaden's fragment experience book and badges arena of doom is mainly to improve your equipment it's uh, the place to go to buy your defensive fabric if you need some and mainly your carbon steel always buy all the carbon steel you can on this store first defensive fabric you can get it from the hives usually you won't need these ones as much as the carbon steel the next one is actually the radar station make sure it's always finished like i just have done all the the event here it gives you uh, extra resources uh, speed ups and fragments and badges and also bad uh, fragments for charlie then if you go in the shop here, you can also buy um, legendary fragment, uh, Maxine fragment and some heroes fragment and then other stuff like speed ups and uh, resources. So you must do um, every day your uh, radar station. After that, it's not mandatory, but uh, I do recommend to buy a few packs at the beginning 
like buying the packs to get uh, extra advanced search to get a better chance to have uh, like really good legendary heroes and hopefully get regro you can also buy uh, the pack where you can get the second construction queue which is gonna really help you to progress faster in the game you can also get your second construction queue permanently uh, if you buy your uh, VIP ticket and you reach uh, VIP level 6 you can see here second construction queue and later on again I would really advise you to go to VIP level 9 because on, on VIP level 9 you can get one legendary hero fragment and one advanced search map every day so yeah try to get to the vip level 9 as fast as possible so that's all the things you need to do to make sure you progress fast in the game now uh, i'm going to talk a little bit more about the strategies you can do to progress uh, even faster so my first one is to make sure that you you have the alliance center level max after your headquarter the reason is, is because it gives you extra remaining help and each additional help will provide a, f provide a reduction in time for all your construction, your research and healing your troops. So the, the more help you've got, the faster you progress. So it's really important to, um, to get the Alliance uh, Center as first building upgraded after your headquarter. And the second one you need to upgrade is your research lab, always. Because if I open the research, you've got two research tab, the economic technology and the military technology. And these ones are really very long to research. Like the one I'm doing now is like the car T5 and it still takes me 31 days. It's very long and making sure that you got your research lab upgraded gives you extra boost on your research speed. Also, I'd like to say that to me there's kind of two phases in the game. The first phase is kind of a headquarter race. If you go on an overview, you can see that uh, some level of the headquarter uh, allows you to unlock different features or buildings in the game. And so at the beginning, I really recommend you, you to try to go as fast as possible on the level 22 or at least 21 to get your T4. So the first, first phase kind of finish when your headquarter is like level 20, 21. After that, you've got the research phase that uh, I would call, which is basically focusing only on, re on your research speed. If I go in my bag and then I go in speed up, I've got my universal speed up here, my construction speed up here, my research speed up and tr training speed up and healing speed ups. You can use your universal speed up for any anything really, but for during the first phase for when you try to get your headquarter upgraded i would say you can probably use some of these but once you get in the phase for research all only use these universal speed ups for your research like at my level i still i still have a few buildings to upgrade but it's nearly finished but i still have heaps of research to do as a general advice when you go to your research phase I would say you should have a higher science level 10 and have industry level 10 before you can start to research your T4. And you want you want to do that because your T4 takes roughly 20 days and your higher science give more research speed. So you want to make sure you got the maximum research speed as possible before you start your T4 research. That would be one of my biggest advice. One of the key thing in the game is, uh, is to always have plenty of resources. It, as you can see on the top here, I've got millions of resources and I've got even more resources in my bag. Okay, so make sure you never run out of resources because without resources, you cannot do anything. You cannot heal your troop, you cannot train your troop, you cannot start any research, you cannot start any building. So you're kind of stuck and it should never be your limiting factor, okay? Um, you got a few tricks to make sure you've got resources. Uh, the first one, you need to balance your economic technology and your military technology. So if you're running low of resources, make sure you develop a little bit more uh, the economic technology. That's one advice. Uh, the second advice is same for the heroes. The same principle apply. You've got the fighting heroes like Jaden, Lee, Regro, and you've got your gathering hero like Maxine, Xia, Alex, Jeremy, 
they're all gathering heroes so level up your gathering heroes if you need more resources and if you don't just keep keep going to upgrade your fighting heroes another reason why you need to have plenty of resources is to buy anything from the store here so you can buy in the vip store like all the stamina some speed up some uh, elite hero badge and uh, you can buy also legendary hero badges with resources like wood or food so you can buy any of these if you have plenty of resources and same thing with the mysterious merchant so there's plenty of gift and bonuses you can get by buying with resources here when i don't have the mysterious merchant i will just try to collect my uh, my resources and sometimes the mysterious merchant will, will be back and then i can restart buying like speed ups on resources in the mysterious merchant with the, all the resources here so when you have plenty of resources you can buy anything from the mysterious merchant so all of these uh, you can buy it because you've got plenty of resources so you just don't care you buy anything that you need so these i don't need anymore so i don't buy it um but yeah all these is like saving me on resources so i'll buy it uh, same with this one for the boost so that's it for more like the strategies and now i'm going to talk a little bit more about the heroes and my advice the strategy you need to do for your heroes is to follow actually free bonus you can get from from the campaign for example so you see you as i said you get fragment and uh, experience book from liam in the, the z virus adventure so my advice would be to take advantage of that and then use it to upgrade first liam and same with Jaden. you can get some bonuses in the memory trip so upgrade Jaden. and the last one i would uh, upgrade is regro uh, because regro is a really good hero for uh, really anything for garrison for the battlefield um it's a really good hero in z virus adventure and memory trip as well so that, that's the trio i would use to upgrade uh, level 60 first so this is my trios i would uh, i would upgrade so liam Jaden, and regro you can also upgrade charlie charlie you can get the um, fragments from the radar station so make sure you upgrade charlie as well charlie is a really good hero for um, an infantry squad the other strategy you need to apply on your heroes is for any fighting hero make sure you always upgrade your first skill the first skill is, is what makes the most damage on a fighting hero so always upgrade that one on a gathering hero however you don't need that first skill because you only use it for gathering so let's say for example with maxine i would only use and any other gathering hero i would only upgrade the second skill first because the second skill is what boosts your gathering speed. When you want to upgrade your gathering heroes, like let's say, let's say, as I said, you you lacking resources and you need to upgrade your gathering heroes, I would only upgrade the green heroes and the blue heroes. So as you can see, my gathering heroes, green and blue, are level 44 with the talent tree on gathering maximum to get a maximum of my gathering speed, and all the other ones like like Jeremy, Sia and Alexander, I use them as assistants so I don't need to spend more experience book on them. I've got one last thing for you guys and it might sound obvious, I can guarantee not everyone are doing it. So the last thing you need to do is to actually to play. And as you can see here, like my research is going on and my training is going on, but not my construction because most of my buildings are actually level 25 now so i don't need to build anything but you need to make sure that all these queues are filled like you can have the best the best strategy in the world you can have the best research speed if you leave like four or five hours between each research there's no point so your research needs to be on all the time so let's say you are about to go to sleep and your research has still one hour to go i would just speed up that one hour and then start a new research to make sure that i actually use my my time during the night to do something productive on the game and um, same strategy I apply on the gatherers like you can have the best gatherers in the world with the like the fastest gathering speed if you don't send your gatherers gathering well there's no point like as you can see all my squad are actually gathering now and the other thing you need to pay attention is your stamina so as you can see my stamina is not full it's always 
loading. I always gain stamina and once it's nearly full I would use my stamina to do something like either my rattle station or zombie hunting or even hives. So let's say my stamina would be like nearly full, I would just only send four squad gathering and then have one squad doing hives in auto rally. That's the way you, you need to do it. So make sure your squad is always doing something and you always use your stamina and make sure that all of these is doing something as well. Otherwise, you'll not progress really as fast as possible. That's the last thing I've got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a bit long, but I wanted to make like a really good guys for all the players. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the, this guide and you will apply some of these strategies at least. And I'll see you for the next video. Bye.